you will snap your feet wearing this. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of Crazy Sneakers. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of packages in today. And if you've never seen an episode of Crazy Sneakers, well, you know that I kind of go over and try and find the craziest pair of sneakers that I could possibly find. In today's video, I found seven. I had this idea, I saw some crazy shoes on Amazon and I was looking through and I had this idea for a video. And you know how, how when you're shopping online on your phone and then you go from like, you leave the website and you go onto Instagram, a web browser, a different page, Facebook, anything like that, those ads start popping up of what you just looked at. And I got so many suggestions of different pairs of sneakers and I thought, well, you know what, I just can't decide, so I'm gonna get them all. So today we are unboxing, taking a look at seven different pairs of crazy, the craziest sneakers I could possibly find on Amazon. For episode number seven of Crazy Sneakers, we got seven pairs, so let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna do this one first. Luckily, they all come in uh, in these little resealable bags, which are just, you tear them open. So we got a nice little shoe box. This is like one of the only ones that comes in a shoe box. I don't remember at all what I got, so these are all just kind of a surprise to me as well. Okay, so you open it like that. Oh. Dear customer, you rock. Okay, I know which ones these are. These are the four. Surely they didn't. This, they didn't create this. <laughs> Dang. Here we go. There it is. So obviously this is the 4D sneaker, and it's kind of like it is a Yeezy mixed with the 4D midsole. Now I guess that's been an idea for a while. I've definitely had that idea. What if they put a 4D midsole on a pair of Yeezys? That's such a Yeezy ripoff and a 4D midsole ripoff. And obviously the 4D is nothing like the regular 4D. This is a solid midsole, whereas if you've ever had a pair of 4D sneakers, woven pieces that are kind of hollow, so you could pour water and it would just come out the other side. Whereas this is solid. It looks pretty cool. Like if you look at it from here, would you be mad? I think the idea of a 4D with a pair of Yeezy on top is a pretty cool idea. And of course you have the pull tab on the back, which says trail color. You know what I'm gonna do at the end is I'm gonna try them all on, show you a little bit of on foot action. 30 bucks for this is really not bad. Even though, I mean, you are just kind of wearing like a, a mixture of knockoff designs, <laughs> which is a little bit, uh, a little bit weird to me. But anyway, it's definitely not the craziest. So let's get into this one next. Guess that's better than plastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why does it come in a sealed bag? We need my knife. You just gotta be careful of opening it, not to slice your shoes open, because that is definitely very possible. All right, now we're talking the electricity. Oh my, with the... This feels very rubber. I was expecting like a solid plastic, but that feels like rubber. When I said crazy, I meant crazy. My floor is just filled with bags and boxes. This looks crazy. You've got some padding in it and they smell horrifically bad of glue and it's got a bit of weight to it. So this, this rubber midsole is really strong. Uh, let's go for the box. Let's see what we got here. While I got my knife down. Is this two pairs? Oh my god. Jeez, man. Is this another? Oh no, you get a little Ziploc bag for these ones. Probably to keep that glue smell inside. Whoa. These are crazy. Again, there's like a common trend. Is this easy design? Of course, you've got, well, on this one, you've got two pull tabs. You've got this top one here and then this giant one wrapping around. I gotta say, this upper looks pretty cool. And that, oh my, that has no structure. <laughs> Look at that. 
Uh, and that's at every single link. It just bends. Oh, this feels terrible. Moves crazy amount. I have never seen anything like this. This is like a Yeezy upper. I mean, you can see it's got like these overlays, which I actually really like this upper with this little like overlay part. Color, I like the gray and the orange, but the, just the feel of it feels horrendous. But it looks pretty crazy. And of course, like... All right, let's get into this one. Oh, these are the high tops. Oh man, these have a zip on them. Oh my god. <laughs> so you've got two zips, in fact, on this one. Look at that. It's got some writing on it. Just be nice. That's nice. Just be nice. That's a message for today. Just be nice. I'm not a fan of zips on shoes. And it kind of peels off this outer layer. And yeah, you can see it's pretty much just like a, a knit upper. Pretty stretchy, doesn't feel great. But the look of it is so straight and awkward looking. Midsole is really flimsy. It's got that crazy glue smell. Latest fashion shoe. There you go. If you wanted the latest fashion shoe, this is it. We still got a lot to go. Let's get into this one. Another bag. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, you know what? This design, now that is something I like. The colors are pretty nice. They all have something in common, and that is they stink. Uh, this one feels very cheap. Like, specifically, I think, because the midsole is so... Let me take this out. It's so light. The rest of it feels very cheap, of course. I mean, it is. 30 bucks. How well can you make a shoe? For 30 bucks and obviously still make profit it's got a little insole does that come out yep little insole loads of perforation holes or yeah i guess for oh wow okay so i don't know if you can see but that is um let me see if i can get that on camera can you see well essentially what i'm trying to show you is there is literal holes all of these things come straight into the shoe and obviously these have this has holes so if you step in a puddle or if you step in mud that's coming up straight into your foot but the design I kind of like and the colors I think looks pretty cool I don't like the mid cut um, but I guess it kind of has to be because it's so chunky and big like that looks crazy I'm gonna chuck this over here. All right, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. We got two left. And I think they're both in this package. Now this is a heavy, heavy bag. Okay, I'm gonna do the, the black ones first. That's just a little pull bag. Wow. You get hit with that smell. My whole room stinks like glue now. But take a look at these. Jeez, man. Oh man, and they're so flat and straight, which is what I don't get because normally shoes just have a general kind of design. This just looks so weird. But okay, this feels like a, a lot more sturdy, except around the toe box. This feels like, like that is solid plastic right there in the bottom. So even though it looks like some kind of shock absorber that's gonna be taking a lot of hits, it's not, that is solid. And this giant, what does this say? Oh, you know what, That I didn't even notice that. That's like the off-white belt. So it says like weight system, but it says S-G-S-T-C-M. It says 400 pounds. So it's like the off-white belt going around. And then on the back it says just so-so. Just so-so. <laughs> Like, oh, what do you think about your shoes? And uh, they're just so-so. It's like they're just grabbing at anything. You know what, an interesting thing is if you actually read what some of these labels say, and it makes no sense whatsoever. Like the spelling is off on that. I'll try and get closer, but I'll show you in the close-up when we do the on foot, etc. All right, we got one left, so let's get into it. Yeah, boy, look at those. We got the off white another sealed bag we got the off-white 
Air Force Ones in the Vault colorway. Look at that, son. Damn, oh man, it's leaving like a bit of a weird feeling on my hand. And of course you can see the off, just says off, and it's got a little tab here saying, always remember to fall asleep with Andrew and wake up with purpose. Ma liberté contre la taille 9, fascinita Vel. sup 1998. This is what I mean, they make no sense. And this one smells even worse than all of them. That is strange. And then it says 01 Sposen. And then it's got like a really squared off design on the bottom, which looks quite weird. But the top feels all right, but it feels soft, which I mean, God, it says something about most Jordans. They're probably the same shit. Oh, and it tells, oh no. I thought it was gonna tell you, this is your right shoe, but they both say R. So they both say right. Um, it'd be cool if it said right left, but you get these giant pull tabs as well. Wow, so this has really been a crazy experience opening up these. They look so bizarre. You know what? This ain't gonna be a real test until I try them on, until I put a fit together and see how they- I'm not gonna put a fit together. I'm just gonna try them on and show you what they look like on foot because it's one thing seeing it, but there's another thing seeing it on foot. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go straight over to me trying them on. 